Manchester United's players, staff and supporters showed their solidarity as they came together to pay tribute on the 60th anniversary of the Munich air disaster. The Premier League home match against Huddersfield Town is the closest fixture to the date of the disaster which occurred on February 6. 1958. Sir Matt Busby's team, Chris and the Busby Babes, were returning from a European Cup tie against Red Star Belgrade. When their plane crashed as it took off in snow and eight United players lost their lives. United players Jeff Bent, Roger Byrne, Eddie Coleman, Mark Jones, David Pigg, Tommy Taylor, Liam Whelan and Duncan Edwards were the eight Reds who died as a result of the disaster. Nine players including Sir Bobby Charlton and Harry Gregg, who were at Old Trafford on Saturday afternoon, and manager Busby survived. In a letter to supporters ahead of the Huddersfield match, Club chief executive Ed Woodward thanked fans in advance for the role they will play in the number of planned tributes. An event which is forever woven into the fabric of this club's history, Woodward goes on to say in the letter that along with commemorations and tributes pre-match, supporters are also encouraged to attend on Tuesday, February 6 at the stadium for an event. The club provided every fan at Saturday's game with a complimentary match program, which includes special features on the Buzz B Babes remembering those on the flight. Together with tributes from across the club, a specially written book is also included in the packs and it details the events on and off the field from the build-up to the crash. The story of Busby's team in 1958, along with how the club and individuals dealt with the tragedy. The special program also features a poster of the last lineup of the Busby Babes from February 5, 1958 and fans at the game were encouraged to hold it up during the pre-match minutes silence. 20 passengers, of the 23 fatalities, died instantly, United players Jeff Bent, Roger Byrne, Eddie Coleman, Mark Jones, David Pigg, Tommy Taylor and Liam Whelan, United Club Secretary Walter Crickmer, trainer Tom Curry, Chief Coach Bert Wally, Cabin Steward Tom Cable, journalist Salph Clark, Manchester Evening Chronicle, Donnie Davis, Manchester Guardian, George Follows, Daily Herald, Tom Jackson, Manchester Evening News, Archie Ledbrook, Daily Mirror, Henry Rose, Daily Express, and Eric Thompson, Daily Mail, Travel Agent Bale Meeklus, and Willie Satinoff. United fan and a friend of Busby. Frank Swift, the former England and Manchester City goalkeeper turned news of the world journalist. Lost his fight for life en route to hospital. Captain Raymond died in hospital while Busby Babe Duncan Edwards died due to injuries on February 21. In all, 21 survived the crash, United players Johnny Berry, who never played again, Jackie Blanchflower, never played again, Bobby Charlton, Bill Folks, Harry Gregg, Kenny Morgans, Albert Scanlon, Dennis Violet and Ray Wood, manager Matt Busby, stewardesses Margaret Bellis and Rosemary Cheverton. Radio Officer Bill Rogers and Captain James Thane, News Chronicle reporter Frank Taylor, Daily Mail telegraphist Ted Elliard, Daily Mail photographer Peter Howard, Eleanor Miklus, the wife of Bela, Naboy Shabato Tomasevic, a Yugoslavian diplomat, and Vera Lukic, wife of a Yugoslavian diplomat and her baby daughter.